In this video, we're going to be testing and comparing the new lure by 10,000 Fish, the Headhunter, versus the Dark Sleeper by Mega Bass, versus something I came across on Amazon while researching the both of them. How you making folks and welcome to the channel. If you're here for the first time, my name's Vinny and this channel is all about the outdoors, centered around hunting and fishing, trying new things and making some memories. Now there have already been a few videos out already about the 10,000 Fish Headhunter and how they copied off of the Dark Sleeper, but I'm not going to even get into that because I just frankly think it's ridiculous. But a few things that I didn't see in those videos were underwater footage and that's the whole purpose of me building this backyard pond right here. If you didn't see that video, uh, it would been the one right before this one. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. But uh, we're going to do some underwater testing after we uh, get a close look at how these things are made and so on and so forth. But yeah, let's get right down to it. All right. Oh, it's cold out here. Oh, here we go. That's better. There's a cold front moving through, so it's quite chilly. But anyway, so I guess the first one we'll go over is the, the one that came out first, and that's the Dark Sleeper by Mega Bass. I picked this up at... Bass Pro for, check my notes, six bucks. Uh, I got the three inch, the half ounce three inch because uh, I find that most of the fish around where I fish prefer a smaller profile. So just open this thing up. It says it was designed, developed and tested in Japan and made in China, if you, if you care about that kind of thing. I've never used either one of these things before. So this is pretty much the first time I ever open them up pretty stretchy plastic it's real soft got a nice little motion to it out the box but the cool thing about these things if you don't know is both of these lures have a hook that's hidden in their dorsal fin right there and that's supposed to make it weedless where you can bounce it off a structure i don't know how well that's going to work because of how so this is some soft stuff so you pull it through any kind of grass i mean i feel it catching my finger just doing that so that's something we're going to have to test out in the field. You know what? I'm just going to open both of them so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So that's what the package looks like. So right off the back, both the rubbers feel feel pretty much the same. This is a three inch, three and a quarter inch, uh, half ounce, I think, also. Uh, yes, both of these are half ounce. Um, like I said, the plastic feels pretty much the same. It's pretty stretchy. Both the tails wiggle pretty good. Thing about the headhunter is it has a much wider uh, paddle on there, so you're probably going to get some more better action. But we'll test that out in the pool. And uh, my favorite thing probably is I've never seen a fish look like this. I've certainly seen bluegill uh, look like this, and that's pretty much what this was designed to look like. Both of them come in a variety of colors. Uh, I got this one, this purple and blue. Uh, I forget what color they call it. I think it says it on here. Sour grapes. This one's called sour grapes. Uh, I don't think they have a name for this color for the, nope, no name for that one. All right, so like I said, the Mega Bass one I paid $6 for, and the Headhunter I paid $7 for this one on uh, Carl's Bait and Tackle. I'll leave all the links in the description below where you can click on them and check them out if you want to. They both have this little hook that's hidden in the dorsal fin. Um, again, since the plastics are both the, feel the same, I'm still worried about uh, it pushing through any kind of grass or like that and that hook just catching. They both have weights kind of under their jaw right there on their belly so you can jig them on the ground. So I'm anticipating both of these to kind of sit with the tails kind of up in the air like a feeding fish. Which would be good for, for jigging across the bottom real slow. Or you can just, you know, cast them out and retrieve as a, as a good swim bait. The biggest thing that's unique with the Headhunter than the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper is this hook, if you're unfamiliar with it, is a floating hook so when it when you catch the fish and you set the hook the hook will pop out like that and that's supposed to according to the back of this box uh let's see it says it will give the fish less leverage to throw your bait so while it sounds like a cool design i don't know a how necessary it is and b uh what it's going to take to rip that hook out of there now the way it keeps it down in there is there's a magnet inside of here that you can see you pull it up and when you just press it down, it, it'll pop back in and a magnet holds it down. So how long will that last and how many fish can you catch without it breaking? We'll see. And again, it's that it's a soft plastic, but it, it's pretty stretchy. So it feels like it might be durable. But I mean, you catch four or five fish and I'm thinking these both of these will be pretty much done. And for six and seven bucks a piece, depends on how much you like it, I guess. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that I said I wasn't gonna talk about. 
that this lure copied off of this lure. I found it mighty peculiar when I was researching it on Amazon that I came across this lure. Now the name on this thing is True Send. Uh, like I said, I got it on Amazon. This is 10 lures. I paid about $14 on Amazon for. And I open it up and I'm looking plastic. Feels pretty much the same. Now this is a smaller version than this Mega Bass one, but I'm gonna tell you, it is the exact same design. Uh, this one also comes out of China, so maybe somebody got a hold of the, the mold. Maybe this is just a basic Chinese bait that other people slap their labels on. I'm not sure, I didn't research it that much, but when I say it's built the exact same way, it is built the exact same way to every fin, every the tail, everything the only difference is the color so i paid 14 dollars for 10 of these now this is smaller i didn't see that they came any bigger sizes but i mean you get a lot of bites off of this little guy pay for two of these you can get 10 of these off of amazon again i'll leave a link in the description below and also i said this is true sin uh, that was the name on the package but if you look around on amazon there's other ones that they i mean exact same thing with different color patterns that have a bunch of different names to them so I'm just saying, you know, do, do what you want with that. All right, so now we got our initial look at the baits and how they feel and look. We're going to, I'm going to go inside and grab a fish pole. And we're going to test it out here in the pool pond. But before we do that, if you guys are getting any value whatsoever out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know about it. And, uh, you know, if you're into these review kind of videos and we test out a bunch of things, consider hitting that subscribe button because uh, we got many more of these, many more, but blah, blah, blah. we got many more of these to come uh, as well as a bunch of hunting and fishing vlogs. And we've got a long way to go in this pool pond, so we'll be doing many vlogs uh, getting this thing all set up. And we'll be using this again to test all kinds of uh, lures and even decoys and stuff during hunting season. So, yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and start off with the dark sleeper. Starting with that pop in action. So as far as popping it goes, it looks pretty good. It seems to be staying upright. The weight at the bottom is bringing it down nice and slow. It's landing right. It's just laying on its belly like that, like a fish that'd be just chilling on the bottom got a lot of nice motion in the tail pretty sure this would catch some fish now I'm just gonna reel it slow right across the bottom yep just dragging it slow across the bottom seeing what that tail looks like still got motion in the tail I mean, I've seen worse baits, but that's what she looks like swimming. If y'all want to see this tested out in the field, uh, make sure you're subscribed, because as soon as I get my boat back from the shop, which should be happening shortly, we're going to go out and test these things, do a little bass fishing, maybe even some saltwater fishing with them, see how they work. We'll run them through the grass, run them through some ruggerous terrain, and see if we can uh, test out how these fins work with that hidden hook. All right, now we're going to try the head hunter. All right, so I already threw this a couple times in here just to see real quick what we were looking at. And it was swimming kind of funny, so I took off the, I had some heavy mono on there, like 20, 30, probably 30 pound mono on there. And I thought that was making it do some funny things. So I just went to this, uh, I think this is 20 pound braid, get a little lighter style line on there and see if that was making the difference. And it don't look like the line was really what was doing it. I mean, right off the back, I see this this lure is not landing on its belly every time and sometimes when it does it pops and just leaves over to a side so it already don't look as good as the uh, dark sleeper i mean if you're just popping it up and down it's definitely not jigging like the dark sleeper was i mean i i guess that's what an injured fish would look like maybe maybe not all right let's see how he swims i'm gonna start off with a slow swim first right across the bottom Already as a slow swim, his tail's not even moving. I mean, I didn't have to do much to make that dark sleeper move. I mean, it's not moving at all, dragging it slow. Let's go ahead and give it a little quick reel and see how it does. Oh, it's got some nice action going fast, but you gotta reel it a little quicker to make that tail move. I mean, it does look good once it's moving. Looks like a perch. I mean, that's got some really nice action when it's moving fast. And I say fast, just not reeling it super fast, but it just doesn't move at all when you're moving it real slow. 
All right, now I'm gonna move on to the true sin that we found on Amazon to see if it does uh, what that dark sleeper does, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna since it's the exact same design, just in a, just in a smaller variety. Yep. Just as I suspected, it is working just as good as that dark sleeper. And that's just swimming it. Let's try jigging it. I mean, every time it lands right on its belly like it's supposed to, that looks good. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the headhunter is not supposed to be a jigging lure, but I mean, the way it's designed, to me, it looks like that's what it's supposed to do. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. As far as jigging across the bottom, the dark sleeper uh, definitely takes the cake over the headhunter. If you're swimming it, on the other hand, I do like the way the headhunter looks as long as you're reeling it fast enough to get that tail wagging. Uh, I like it a little bit better than the dark sleeper, but dark sleeper is certainly the more versatile bait because you can swim it slow, you can swim it fast, you can jig it across the bottom. But uh, yeah, that's all the information I got for you. You can uh, do what you want with that and make your decision. But uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about each one and uh, if I missed anything, you know, drop that in the comments below. But Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, hit the thumbs up button if you got any value out of this video whatsoever, just to let me know about it. And uh, well, until next time, get outdoors, try new things, and make new memories.